Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. For today's video I have some Dollar Tree gift ideas, some gift baskets, and in every single gift basket video I always mention ShopTagger, but today is extra special because ShopTagger is having a $1,000 giveaway. Now this giveaway is to anyone who has a ShopTagger account, so if you don't have one already the link will be in my description so you can sign up. And basically the rules are really simple, you have to tag at least two items in December. It's open from December 1st to the 14th and the winner will be picked on the 15th. So let me show you how to use ShopTagger so you can go ahead and enter this giveaway. On the ShopTagger website, you're gonna go ahead and want to sign up. You're gonna have this button here and you can sign up using Facebook or using your email, whatever you have. Once you get that, you're gonna get this little widget up top. If you click on stores, it's going to show you all of the stores that are covered by ShopTagger, so you can shop directly from the website. Or, if you're not on the website and you're on your favorite website, which for me is Target, you can just pick whatever item it is you are eyeing. So for instance, I'm looking at this kid's elf costume. Once I pick my item, the little widget is going to pop up, and this is how you tag your item. So once it pops up, it's going to let you save it. So I always click for it to notify me whenever there's any price changes. It will then notify you immediately through text or email when the price drops. So then I went ahead and added it to a list, which you can create a list directly from there and click save, or you can make new list on the actual ShopTagger website by clicking new, writing your list name and saving, and these lists are also shareable. If you are just buying the item, ShopTagger will try and look for any coupon code which is why I use ShopTagger for all of my holiday shopping. Link will be in my description. Make sure to sign up for ShopTagger if you haven't already for your chance to win $1,000. And I really hope that you enjoy this video and you stick around by subscribing to this channel because once you hit subscribe, we instantly become best friends. We just become best friends. Yep. And please hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is more of a stocking stuffer. And these are these little Greenbrier mugs from Dollar Tree. They're obviously mugs, so they don't have a drain hole. But I found something similar at my local stop and shop, which they turned into a little planter. So I figured I was going to add one of these little seed starters from Dollar Tree. I tried to add one of their tiny little terracotta plants, but it didn't fit right inside. So I just cut this down just so whoever I gift this to can repot their little plant or take it out when they're going to water it because... If you just leave it and let it soak in water, it is going to die. So I went ahead and filled it up with some soil, and I got these plants from Lowe's for $4.98. They bring more than one, so I'm just going to take it out and lightly separate it. So I'm going to break up the soil a bit and separate the two little plants. Now you just want to make sure that you don't disturb the root, and then you're going to go ahead and repot it. Now this is a really small container, so you can always just buy a smaller plant. They are really, really cheap. The smaller, the more affordable they are. So I went ahead and topped it with soil, and then I cleaned everything up, made sure that everything was nice and neat. And after I was done cleaning, you can either leave it as is and just gift it like this, or you can add a little bow to it. I do have another plant left over so I can repot it in whatever else I have. Now, this little bow I got off of one of the Dollar Tree bells just because I couldn't find a smaller bow. And when I was done, I think I had a really cute and thoughtful festive gift, and it's perfect for just about anybody. I think this would be adorable if it was displayed in an office or a mantle. It's up to you who you gift it to. For the next gift, I found this Barbie bathtub in the toy section of Dollar Tree, but I know it's a little hard to find, so if you can't find it, I'm going to leave the link in the description to this video. I created this little bathtub using the flower and garden tin from Dollar Tree. I'll leave it in the description. You can fit a lot more stuff. As you can see here, I'm trying to put a little shower sponge, and it took up most of the space, so I put another little shower poof, and... This is kind of small, so I have to take everything out of the package. I found the shampoo massager at Dollar Tree. I took it out of the package and wedged it onto the side. And then I also found this really pretty bath bomb in the shape of a unicorn. Took it out of its package as well since it's individually wrapped. And then added a little nail polish and nail file. If you are using the other tub, you can fill it with a lot more stuff. 
but I think this is pretty cute for a teenager. You can go ahead and wrap this up in the clear shrink wrap cellophane that they sell in the gift bag aisle and add a bow to it and it's adorable. For the next one, I am going to be using a real gift basket, but I am going to link all of my gift, gift basket videos below because I do use the Dollar Tree containers. But for this one, I feel like you can get so many baskets for cheap at the thrift store or even at Michael's with a coupon. Baskets are usually 50% off. So I found these beautiful Bride Squad glasses at Dollar Tree. They were in the candle section for some reason. In that same section, I found these trinket trays and they all have different sayings. So I think this would be perfect to put together if you know somebody that's getting married or if you're a bride and you're asking your friends to be your bridesmaids. The candles were also from Dollar Tree in the candle aisle and they all have different sayings as well. So choose your saying depending on what you're using it for. If you're giving this to a bride or if you're giving this to a bridesmaid, you might want to switch them around, maybe just happily ever after and not Mr. and Mrs. It's up to you. I also added some of these Dollar Tree bath bombs and Hershey kisses to the glasses. And then I found these little goodies by the cash register at Dollar Tree. It is the cheapest place to buy the Ferrero Rocher chocolates. Dollar Tree usually has these giant rings, which they sell around Valentine's Day. Valentine's stuff is on display at my Dollar Tree, but I still haven't found the rings. So I bought this ornament at Target. Had I found the Dollar Tree one, I just would have put the Dollar Tree one instead. And I just placed it up top, and I think this looks so cute and so high-end. And not only is it perfect for a Christmas gift, it's also perfect year-round for anybody who's getting married and looks so luxe. For the next one, I'm going to use this basket. Again, you can get them at thrift stores or wherever you want. And I am going to line it with this Dollar Tree skirt. Now, if you don't want to use the basket, you can also just get a cardboard box and cover it up nicely. This actually looks like a cardboard box that's been covered up. So just a thought if you want to save some money or don't want to go thrifting. Now, believe it or not, this Cake Boss set is from Dollar Tree, along with these as well. And I found so many Cake Boss goodies, as well as other items from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go ahead and just load this up. This is also from Dollar Tree, the mittens as well. So if you can't find the Cake Boss stuff, you can just load it with a ton of other things that are from Dollar Tree. This pan is also from Dollar Tree, as well as the Betty Crocker mixing cups, spatulas, and spoons. They also had two different kinds of these, and this is actually to put add some texture to your fondant or to whatever it is you're baking, whether it's frosting, fondant. So I played around with what bow I wanted in front of the basket, and I ended up putting a few just so you can see that you don't just have to add bows. If you cannot find the Cake Boss stuff, Dollar Tree has a ton of other stuff in the baking aisle that you can add to a gift basket like this. Or you can always go to Walmart and look at their clearance stuff and you'll find some pretty reasonably priced stuff. But as is, I think this is really, really cute and thoughtful for somebody that you know is getting into baking or really enjoys baking. So be on the lookout for the Cake Boss stuff. For my last one, again, I'm using a basket, but I'll leave all the videos below where I use Dollar Tree containers. I do use different ones and decorate them differently. And for this one, I found these Coca-Cola cups at Dollar Tree. They do have them year round and different stores have different styles. So I decided that I would cover this with a little garland. Dollar Tree has garland as well, but when I filmed this video, I had only picked up fall ones. So this is just one that I bought at Michael's with a coupon. And now I'm going to arrange my glasses. I did add parchment paper to one just to see if it would stand out and it didn't. No, this isn't from Dollar Tree. This is just from my regular grocery store, but I thought it paired so well with the cups. I thought I would put this together like a little collector's baskets, like the ones that you see in Kirkland. So then now I just started to add things that matched. So I found this little snow globe at Dollar Tree. Anything that was white and red. Dollar Tree also has little polar bears, but I decided to go with a little Santa plush. I had another little Santa plush as well, which I put in the background. And then I found these kind of vintage looking gummies at Dollar Tree with just a reindeer. The Dollar Tree candy aisle had this little gumball. I removed the wrapper and added some Hershey's Kisses. And as I put this together, I figured it would be perfect for guests if you have anybody staying at your house over the holidays as a gift basket or just to keep in your home for anybody who's passing by if you add a ton of snacks. I just think it looks so cute. 
So in case these ideas weren't helpful, I am going to go ahead and link all of these other ideas below. Here's just a peek of all of the things that I've created. These videos are using all Dollar Tree materials, even the containers, and they are geared towards children, men, pets, so no one is left behind. So all of these videos will be linked in my description and a pinned comment as well. And thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Please be sure to check out shop tagger and enter that giveaway the link for that will be in the description so as usual thank you so so much for watching i appreciate you all so much and i will hopefully see you on the next one